Also, look at how pretty this guy is. up welcome back to my channel oh my goodness it feels like it has been so long since i did a day in my life vlog i got back from the states in mid-october and then i filmed four travel vlogs which are awesome i love filming those but not filming in my house has literally made me feel like so disconnected from you guys like i've, I've literally had anxiety because i feel like i really miss you guys so today we are just gonna be filming a full day in my life vlog i'm not gonna lie a lot of my days over the past few weeks have just been very like mundane i've had quite a few business trips to seoul that have taken up a bit of my time but today we have a fun filled busy self-care slash work day so anyways, it is currently 8 a.m i just brushed my teeth did my skincare all that and i'm about to walk cleo and then this morning i have a morning workout specifically since coming back to korea a lot of times i spiral when i come back from being home um but it's actually been the opposite i feel like i have been really good to myself so we love that i'm gonna go to a morning workout i'm getting my hair cut today for the first time in years so that's very nerve-wracking, but I am trusting the person I'm going to, so fingers crossed. I have quite a bit of computer work today, and then also if we have time to squeeze it in, I want to go to the mall and look for an outfit to wear on my business trip tomorrow. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new to my channel, what's up? My name is Adrienne. I'm a 26-year-old gal who moved abroad four years ago, and I just document my life here. Um, if you're new to my channel, I live in South Korea. I live in Busan, which is the southern part. It's like the coastal city. So anyways, good morning, everyone. We're going to go take Cleo out. All right, let's go ahead and get our day started. You want to go outside? You want to go outside? You want to go outside? <laughs> All right, I'm home. It was a really good workout. We did like TRX, which are like the little bands that hang from the ceiling. I enjoyed it, so that's great. It's time to make some late breakfast. I actually have to take a Zoom call in ooh, about like 25 minutes, so I want to get this done fast, and I'm going to make a cup of coffee. I have not been drinking coffee as soon as I wake up lately. I've been more of a tea girl. I didn't have tea this morning, but it has helped so much with like anxiety and jitters to have my coffee like once I've eaten because for the longest time I was just like downing a cup as soon as I got out of bed. My current obsession is poached eggs on toast. It's literally so easy to make. Coffee time. This is one of my current favorite kitchen gadgets if you guys are avid travelers or campers or if you just have a small kitchen like i do i have literally barely any counter space for a coffee maker this thing is so awesome it's like an eight in one drip coffee brewing machine i'll show you how it works so the top just screws off like that put your filter in You can use the black grip to kind of extend the amount of space you want to have. So if you want to have like a larger cup, you can pull it up more to give it more space. Or if you just want a small cup, you can keep it down. Drip coffee is the greatest thing ever. Like, don't get me wrong. I love a good coffee machine, but I love how efficient and quick drip coffee is. All right, voila, that was so easy. This coffee smells so good, but how efficient, I love it. This is literally saving me so much space, and obviously you can take this on the go. And the other fun thing about this little device, if you are camping and you wanna share your coffee, just like that, it's so cute. All 
All right, I'm about to just have a really quick Zoom meeting. I don't know about you guys, but my lips are struggling this season. Like they, I think I need to change my lip balm. This one is just not doing it. They have been like so crusty and dry and like honestly almost like painful, especially around the corners just because of the weather. The temperature suddenly dropped last week and I feel like it's just been like a shock to my whole body. It's also been like hard on my energy levels. I feel like every day I crave midday naps, which I don't have the time to be doing right now, but it's okay. This coffee is here. I'm gonna make a tea later. All right, I'm about to go get my hair cut, low key. Feeling a little bit nervous because I have not done a chop in a while. It's not gonna be a chop. I'm not ready for like a chop chop. Um, I'm thinking maybe, I mean, this is how long it is right now. I'm thinking maybe that much, I don't know. my haircut I honestly wasn't expecting to be super happy because I loved my long hair but I'm so glad I did it I also really like the way he styled it. it feels a lot healthier and I'm just gonna try my best to keep up with like frequent trims because it's quite embarrassing how long I went without getting a haircut anyways it's about noon now and I'm not really hungry yet so until I get hungry for lunch I'm just going to do some editing on my computer I've really been loving editing lately like it's been so extra therapeutic for me which is always a good feeling when I'm into it because sometimes I'm not in the mood and besides that I also want to do kind of like a mini kitchen deep clean I deep cleaned my whole house last week and and there's just a few closets I still want to go through um, and get rid of some stuff just because I have some stuff that I'm not using. So that's on my agenda also this afternoon. I'm craving something sweet. So I think I'm actually going to make myself a little kombucha. If you guys have not tried the kombucha from Sun Tzu House, you definitely should. I don't know about where you guys live, but here it's actually really hard to find bottled kombucha and it's actually quite pricey. So for me, it makes so much more sense just to get the little powdered packets. I completely recommend these. You can actually get them on Amazon. Not only does this have all of the good probiotics and lactic acid, it actually has 17 kinds of lactic acid. But for me, it really curbs like that craving that I get every single day for a soda or some kind of sparkling drink because this is literally sparkling it also has the collagen and hyaluronic acid which is also good for the skin my skin has been extra dry lately so i need like all of the hyaluronic acid that i can get so so yummy so good and it's also grapefruit flavor which is one of my favorite flavors when it comes to sparkling drinks like this. There's only eight calories in one of these little packets compared to a soda, which can have like up to a couple hundred calories in it. All right, time to plug into work. Also, I wanted to tell you guys, I've been loving vintage Christmas music. So let's play some of that. All right, time to clean. And you guys are gonna have to let me know, anybody who lives in a tiny studio apartment like I do, do you just feel like no matter how much you clean, your house just gets messy right all over again? I don't even know what it is. I feel like I don't even have that much stuff. Well, maybe I do, I don't know. Um, but okay, I'm just going to wipe down a ton of surfaces and then I want to work on cleaning out this area it's pretty good like there's not a ton of junk in here but there's just some stuff like um sauces and cups and stuff that i just don't use so i want to get rid of a couple of those just finished organizing not much changed because as i said i went through and i organized a lot of this the other day but I'm really happy with how much I've been able to like downsize everything. If you guys have a small kitchen, let me know what are your 
best tips, but I did want to say, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like as humans, we tend to just hoard tea. And I had been in this really bad habit of just always reaching for the same couple of teas. So lately, like every couple of weeks, I will switch out the tea that I keep in my cabinet. And that way I'm reaching for different teas and I'm not always just grabbing the same one. So these are my other ones that are literally down in storage right now. And I'll probably switch them out in like a couple weeks. And then this is my little bucket that I just have in my cupboard. And that way I don't have like a zillion different teas that I'm reaching for all at the same time. I just have a select few and I'm actually getting through them so much quicker than I would have before. So I just have three that I've been working on for the past couple weeks. So I have more of an espresso style. I have a floral and then this one is more of like a bean style tea. I'm actually going to make a tea bag right now because my boyfriend's going to be home in a few minutes and he had mentioned that he really likes this one. So just as a little surprise, this is the Darjeeling chamomile tea and this one actually originates in um, Croatia which is pretty cool. I'm actually almost out of these. I need to get some more. I personally love this one for like a relaxing vibe as well as relaxation on my body. When you taste this, not only does it taste like sweet, but it gives you the warmest feeling. I also really like the way this specific tea brews. I feel like it gives you a stronger taste compared to a lot of other kind of mild teas that I've tried. If you're looking for something that's like more of a soothing vibe, I definitely recommend this. I often drink this at night when I'm avoiding caffeine. I also love the little tin. This comes inside. It feels so luxurious and I actually do think it uh, does a better job at keeping the tea tasting more fresh so I will also have this link below it's available on Amazon I'm so happy that so many of my favorite things I've been using lately are all on Amazon all right hi guys so it is very much dark now it gets dark at like 4 30 nowadays it's crazy but I just came to Shinsege which is actually the world's largest department store and it just so happens to be like 10 minutes from my house, which is awesome. But I'm on the hunt for a couple of cozy sweatshirts and sweatpants because stuff like this is literally all I wear. And I gotta just get some more because I'm wearing these too much and I have to wash them. So that's what we're mainly looking for. And then maybe kind of like a dress up sweater or two, but I really don't wear stuff like that unless I'm going to some kind of event. But yeah, my winter closet is just very basic vibes. Um, very low key. I'm I'm definitely not a winter fashionista. I'm a comfort comfort ista when it comes to the winter. But all right, let's go in. Also, look at how pretty the sky is. one in brown but they only had black so I'm about to take Cleo out on our nightly walk. It has been a lot chillier here lately, so I wanted to show you guys how I'm staying warm. I feel like I'm 26 and I'm just now realizing the key to staying warm in the winter, which is layering, obviously, but I feel like in the past, I was just layering in all the wrong ways. Like I wasn't using the most efficient, thick clothes so i just want to show you some of my favorites and i'll probably show you more favorites in future vlogs but i want to just keep this quick so a couple of things i've been loving first of all body suits this one is from hollister i have a couple of these and i just love how well number one it sucks everything in which is nice for fashion but it just keeps you having that nice warm underlayer i would say if you're able to get like the heat tech that probably is better. I want to get some heat tech. I've never tried it. Let me know if you guys have ever tried heat tech. But a nice bodysuit is great for like your first layer. But do you want to see something gross? This happened today. I guess when I was in the department store, I was like sweating and then it made this yellow. <laughs> Ew, that's so gross. But this is real life. It made like a yellow ring. So I'm going to have to wash this. Hopefully that comes out. Then what's the next thing? Okay, okay, okay. Sweatshirt. So 
Now that I'm saying all this, I feel like all of this is a given, and I know you guys are probably not learning, but this is just stuff I'm obsessed with. Um, so yeah, sweatshirts, as you guys saw, I went to the store today and I got a black one. This one's my white one that I love. So I'm gonna be putting this one on. Then on top, okay, so we got our first layer, second layer, and on top, your padding. Now, if you guys live in a city, if you are on the go with your feet, I would definitely recommend getting long padding. I know it might look like you're going to a ski resort. At first, you might feel silly, but oh my goodness, long padding is the best. Everyone wears them here in Korea. I have my own. I haven't worn it yet just because it hasn't gotten to below like 30. So I've just been sticking to my Patagonia, which I haven't gotten a lot of wear out of this the past few years. And I randomly pulled it out the other day and I've been wearing it so often. I need to get it dry cleaned because it's been a while, but this is about to keep me so warm. And then obviously like gloves, scarves, earmuffs, those are great. It's not cold enough for that yet. But one thing I do always bring is a hot pack. These are incredibly popular in Korea. I had never really heard much about them before I moved here, but guys, please go on Amazon and order hot packs if you are doing a lot of like outside activity this winter. If you have to like walk to class, walk to bus stop, whatever. These are amazing and honestly sometimes I will just sit with these in my house because it gives me like a super warm good sensation when I hold it. So you just go like this and then it'll warm up. Oh the other thing I want to say hold on in one of my USA vlogs from last month I had mentioned that I got the ultra minis and oh my goodness I can't believe I lived 26 years without having these. My whole life I've never justified the cost of these but then I finally got them and it's like the only shoe I want to wear. They're just so freaking warm. And when your feet are warm, I feel like it just travels up your whole body and your body stays warm. So highly recommend these. Yeah, those are my little tips. If you have your own little winter survival guide, let me know in the comments. I would love to hear about the things that you guys do to stay warm. And where are you guys? Like, do you guys live somewhere that gets super warm? Um, because I feel like I don't remember it ever being super cold growing up. I mean, it was cold, but not cold enough for like three, four layers like I'm doing here. So yeah, come on, bring on the winter, I'm ready. <laughs> so of work i have been working on making a new portfolio that has a ton of info of like all my work experiences on there which has been a lot of fun to look back on everything but i am not good at using microsoft word anyways that's what i'm working on right now if you guys have any tips on good portfolios let me know um but i need to get to bed in a little bit because i actually have to go to seoul at seven tomorrow but i have to wake up at five because my flight is at seven so i should get to the airport earlier obviously so i'm just trying to get to bed at a reasonable hour but i can't sleep without having my little late night snacks i've just got some cookies these cookies bring back so many memories for me and then i have my herbal tea this one is by Audrey and it's obviously a Korean brand. It's their Young Lang Cha, which is a really cool blend. It's a combination of soybean and then also rice oat. I like having this before bed because it has the soybeans, which are rich in protein. So it keeps me full for when I'm going to bed. I don't get hungry. And then the oats are rich in beta glucans as well as amino acids. It literally smells just like soybeans. 
like think of brown rice it kind of smells like that too but yeah i love this as a good nighttime tea especially because it doesn't contain caffeine um, and this is also available on amazon and fun fact the design was actually inspired by the home of a really famous korean poet which i thought was cute are you guys cookie dippers or do you eat your cookies without dipping them i just feel like it's so much better when you dip it another tab that i currently have open on my computer is my vlogmas planning schedule so i am going to be doing some form of vlogmas this year i really am feeling in the festive mood like i honestly oops, i was editing today and i wanted to use christmas music because i'm just i'm really into christmas this year um so i want to do a lot of festive videos i want to take you guys to cafes i want to decorate I want to just do it all and I have something really really fun planned for mid-December which I'm not going to share yet but it definitely is going to involve you guys and I'm so excited but yeah vlogmas is something I'm getting planned the only thing about vlogmas is you kind of have to plan it all beforehand because when you're actually doing it you're so busy with filming and editing that you don't really have time to plan and I'm not going to be uploading every single day obviously but I'm going to try to do at least three times a week so if you guys have any requests for vlogmas or just like any other videos that you want to see definitely let me know but with that being said i think i'm going to close the video off here and just do another 30 minutes or so of work i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i feel like this is such a long day so if you're still watching thank you so so much and i also wanted to thank kaylover for sponsoring this video they have given me a chance to show you guys some of my favorite products right now which were like the teas the kombuchas i will have them all linked below if you're interested all on amazon and i also think they're really good gifts and stocking stuffers if you're looking for stuff like that but yeah that's about it for the vlog i love you guys so so much and i'll see you very soon in my next video wait i gotta show you Look at that pretty sleeping beauty. Look at that sweet little girl. Guys, she's so cute. Alright, bye guys.